It's Friday. Time for another weekly update. Congratulations to Sessions Court Judge Chuck Cerny, who recently received the Leon Rubin Award for Excellence. The Leon Rubin Award is given annually to a judge or judges who distinguish themselves through their outstanding service to the community and the judiciary as a whole. Judge Cerny presides over Knox County's Veterans and Recovery Courts. He's also working to set up our new mental health court. After witnessing Judge Cerny in action in a recovery court proceeding, I can personally attest that no one is more deserving of this award. Congratulations again, Judge. And congratulations as well to this month's Employees of the Month, Carol Conaway from Senior Services and Daryl Woods from Procurement. Great work, y'all. The big news this week is the county's ambulance contract. The current ambulance contract went into effect back in 2013. A lot has changed since then, including the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, the contract has been amended 11 times so that the document has become a kind of hodgepodge of ad hoc measures trying to address issues as they arise. Taking all this into account, we thought it best to not exercise an extension on the contract, but to put a new contract out for bid. Our procurement department issued a request for proposal on August 11th. Four vendors responded to the RFP. The proposals were evaluated by a team of five experts, four in emergency services and one in procurement. The bids were highly competitive, but the final results of the review process were conclusive and American Medical Response, the county's current provider, was the successful bidder. Obviously, there have been a lot of issues with AMR as of late. However, please keep in mind that these issues are not unique to AMR or Knox County or even Tennessee. And the old contract had really become a hindrance to service. In fact, I don't think any provider would have been successful operating under its provisions. Across the country, ambulance services face serious challenges. One of the biggest is wait times at hospitals. For instance, Fitch & Associates, the consultant who helped us through this process, said that current hospital wait times in Knox County are excessive and will prevent any EMS provider from being successful. While we don't expect the new contract to be a panacea that will fix everything, we are optimistic that ambulance service will improve significantly. When you call, you can be confident that a properly equipped ambulance with well-trained and outfitted personnel will be there in a timely manner. If, after we have made these changes, that turns out not to be the case, we will do what we need to do to address it. We have tentatively scheduled a commission workshop to discuss all of this on November 2nd. From there, the new contract will be presented to commission for their consideration at their regularly scheduled November meeting. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.